What is going on everybody? It's Malulani aka MT8 it's Way here with another vehicle showcase. Today I have another JDM to bring to you guys because my JDM list is real short. Today I got the 2019 Subaru WRX STI with the wide body high cage kit on it as you guys can see here. Absolutely beautiful kit on this car. Y'all know I don't really do JDMs like that, so for me to go ahead and do another JDM car, you, you, you know it's something special. Oh, this thing has been having my eyes, so I'm glad that I finally got to do it. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get into um, basically uh, the whole kit and what this car has to offer. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's get into it. First off, let's go ahead and turn on this car because I'm using another sound mod by set just as always. Just, I'm gonna let it speak for itself. Just listen to this, man. Whew. My goodness, let me go ahead and rev it a few times so you guys can see the backfire because you guys see the big boar exhaust on the thing. So I put some exhaust on it to match. It's off the back. sounds amazing I'm going to turn it off real quick because you guys saw a little something something uh, when the car first turned on but yeah again I don't distribute sounds or any of that 95% of the sounds that I use come from Cedrus. he's in my discord he has his own patreon so go ahead and either look him up patreon or you guys can join my discord and find him in there also before we get into it if you guys are already liking the model and want to get your hands on it there's only two ways to get it either my Tebex website or my discord both links are in the description down below for you guys to go ahead and click on now Let's go ahead and let's get on to what this car looks like and what it has to offer. First, let's flip this thing around so you guys can see the front end in the sunlight. Y'all don't, you know, y'all can ignore that warrant notification right there. It's, you know, that ain't nothing. I mean, here we go with the front in the sunlight so you guys can really see the black accents a lot better and they're not covered by the shade. You guys, a quick look around. Um, as far as tuning options, there aren't any. There aren't any extras on this either. This is pretty much what you see is what you get. There will be a V2 that will come out in the future where this car has livery support. Right now it does not, but that is in the works. JDM cars, they just, they just have to have livery support. So I'm going to bring it to you guys for this one. And I didn't forget, there's going to be livery support for my other JDM releases as well. So let's go ahead and let's talk about the animated lights that you guys saw on the front. There's um, animated lights that are in the front and the back of the car, so let's go ahead and we'll get a close-up on the front ones for you guys to take a look at first, and then we'll go ahead and spin around and let you guys see the back. So let's turn this car off. I'm going to pop into my screenshot mode so we can get a real close look. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of get at this angle to see. There's going to be three moving parts here. The DRLs are on the headlights. The X lights at the very bottom where the, or the fog lights and then the stars the, for the Subaru emblem are also going to be animated. So I'll start it three times so we can focus on each of the three parts individually. So let's go ahead and start at the top right, right above the headlights where the DRLs are there. So let's go ahead and play that. Yanni, you made this? Ma'am, that's that right there. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Wait for it to do its little turn off animation. You're not gonna be able to see that because I have it all pretty much almost blacked out it's, it's pretty blacked out but you guys can still kind of see through it now let's look at the bottom right to pay attention to that x all right and now let's go ahead and let's look to your left where the stars for the subaru emblem is so let's go ahead and let's make that turn off Give it a sec to do its turn off animation and we should be good now. So let's go ahead and look at the stars. Actually, let's focus in on the stars right here. Now, now let's flip around to the back end. Now on the back end, it's going to be the tail lights and again, the Subaru stars. So let's go ahead and give it a chance to turn off. Real quick, let's one two, three. All right, now start it up. We're gonna pay attention to the tail light first. All 
all right and now we're going to look at the stars again it's the same animation as the front just want y'all to see that it's on both the front and the back All right, and the reason why the tail lights don't stick is because you, I don't, you know, you don't want it to over. I don't, I don't want it to override the actual tail lights themselves with a constant tail light glow. I still want the real tail lights to show at nighttime to turn on when they're supposed to, turn off when they're supposed to. So now we can go ahead and get out of this frame shot mode and just to show you guys what I mean. You now brake lights, tail lights, and then we turn on the headlights. Those are the tail lights again. Brake lights still. You don't want the animation to cover that up permanently, so I had to do what I had to do, you know what I'm saying? I had to bring out that quality and that diversity in the cars, make sure that everything's working perfectly. And while we're on the subject of lights, let's go ahead and left blinker, left blinker, left blinker, let's turn off the headlights. And that right blinker, as you guys see, front, side view mirror, and the back. And then headlights. All right. Now, um, as far as customization goes, really the only thing you guys can customize are the colors. Go ahead and open up your 5M uh, menu, your single player trainer or mechanic script, because this thing is 5M and single player ready. I said that's up. This is single player and 5M ready. So open up whatever it is. We're gonna go ahead and go over to the vehicle color menu. We're gonna scroll through some colors. Primary color is always going to be the body color for me. So we're gonna go ahead and scroll through them. This car looks wonderful in all these colors, man. It's amazing. Okay, they really outdid themselves with this car, and I think I did a really good job replicating what they did and making the game ready for y'all. So we're gonna go back to the Impreza blue. Now for the secondary color, that is gonna be in control of the DRLs. So we're gonna scroll through these. You guys can see it's also controlling the STI in the front and the Subaru uh, letters, not letters, Subaru stars. You guys can see in the back, it's doing the same thing in the back as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just flip it all the way back until we spin back to the red. I just like the contrast of the red and the blue. Formula red, yeah. And now the wheel colors, that is gonna be in control of your brake calipers. So you guys can see where the brake calipers are. Not on the brake disc behind the rims. Flip through those. And you can see it'll change the color on it. I'm not gonna scroll through too many of those. It's a nice accent color. I'm gonna bring it back to the red as well here. Let's get that blaze red. There we go. And that's gonna be it. As far as the actual tuning upgrades, those are exist existent. As you guys can see here, I already have a max out level four engine. Do whatever you want, level three brakes, do whatever you want, level three transmission, suspension. This one actually lowered a bit because without it lowered, it's still pretty tight. Just a more realistic height. I just wanted to drop it just a little bit just because wheels, if you want to change the wheels, you can. Whoops, messed up. There we go. As you guys can see, there we go. Almost gave me a heart attack for a second there. But now, as you guys can see here, you guys can change the wheels if you want to, to whatever you want. So you have a wheel pack, which I highly suggest. There's a really good JDM rim pack that is on uh, GTA 5 mods. So I highly suggest you guys go ahead and use that. Yeah, so if you have a rim pack or in the, in the 5M server want to change the rims, you guys can do that. Turbo on, Xenon headlights set to white. Window tint, it does tint. Um, I already have it at a super blacked out tint. If that's not your 410, you guys want it lighter so you guys can actually customize the window tint. Just let me know and I can change that for you. That's no issue at all. And like I said, vehicle components, there are no extras. Now, let me give you guys a look at the interior. Nothing crazy on the interior. Super basic. I was just some more so focused on the exterior of this car and make sure that you guys had a good dash to look at as well. Yeah, and then real quick, I'm gonna show you guys the uh, the collisions for the windows to show you guys that they break. But real quick, let me go ahead and change. He has got on the wrong backpack, and I'm I'm not feeling it. There we go. All right, so now just to show you guys that the windows do break. Um, let me real quick make sure that these cops are off me. I don't want no gang members shooting at me. And where is it? I want to set 
but uh, everyone ignore the players so no one starts freaking out at the gunshots all right gotta show you all the windows you guys see there side windows break back window breaks These ones have already been shot through from the other side. As you guys can see there, that breaks, and then the front windshield. So full collision is working. Let me just break it all the way because I don't want to hear nothing from nobody. And there we go. Let's fix her up. Hold on, Franklin. We did it on purpose. Don't be surprised. Now, all right. Now there's nothing left to do but to get into this test drive, so let's go ahead and let's hit the road so you guys can see what this thing can do. Um, I made it pretty realistic with the handling, so you, you guys will see. This sound mod just sounds so good. Shout out to Cedrus, man. Again, just look up a Cedrus on Patreon, A-S-E-D-R-U-S. If you guys want to get it, take a look at his sounds if you guys are interested or again he is in my discord he has his own channel so you guys can pop into my discord and see his channel there he has his own discord that you can find in his channel that's in my discord and his patreon as well and again if you guys are interested in getting your hands on this model there are going to be two links that are in the that are going to be in the description for you guys to go ahead and click on it's going to be my tebex website which is a fully automated experience and my discord pop into my discord make a ticket and we'll go ahead and we'll handle that for you all right, now let's go ahead and let's hit the highway. Let's see. Let's. I mean, we always end up going this way. So let's just go ahead and. Whew. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at this backfire. That backfire for the fat exhaust. Let's go ahead and let's just. Oh, okay. He's gonna cut me off, and you're gonna run the red light. All right. This is GTA for you. Oh yeah, I forgot. I also have this. I also have it set to everyone ignores me still. So let's go ahead. And God mode off. We'll keep that on and turn. There we go. All right. And I am using manual transmission right now to use a manual mode for the car. Or going to sequential mode, I should say, for the car. You guys are wondering what it is. Um, and it's not the handling that's making it blip up once I let off the throttle. That's manual transmission as well. It makes the revs blip upwards when you let off of the accelerator. Dang, how close you gonna get? Let's go ahead and just, let's just run this red. Spinning the wheels for. Let's get around you guys. Get in this right lane so we can hit the freeway. you guys Woo! this thing is loud in the tunnel Hurt my ears a little bit. God dang.
And you guys can see right there, we went ahead and we maxed it out. This sound mod is loud as hell. I'll try to make sure that I um, that I adjust the sound for you guys uh, when I'm going ahead and I'm editing this video. Cause I, I, I was hurt in my ears. I scratched the car a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix it up. Now let's go ahead. Let's let's put it at nighttime, so you guys can see what it looks like in the dark. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm back to freeze time. All right. lagging a bit there I won't hold the I won't hold the top end speed too much because this this is super loud we'll go ahead and we'll hop off the freeway here I'm not even going to cap. My graphics is hitting right now, boy. Look at this. Slowly but surely getting there, man. Slowly but surely getting there. I'm so glad I'm not in the game to look like this and not have it lose a ton of frames and still get to have a smooth gaming experience. And he just ran the red light. He's facing the wrong way. Okay. We'll go ahead we'll end it off in this little dinky ass parking lot right here again y'all this is the subaru and preza wrx sti high cade wide body kit let me go ahead and let's put it back to daytime so you guys can get a really good look at it one last time let's go back a few hours there we go yes please do let me know what you guys think in the comment section or in my discord all feedback is much appreciated whether it's about the video itself whether it's about my graphics whether it's about the car just let me know what you guys are thinking damn can y'all let me talk do let me know what y'all think so i can improve the quality of content and cars that i'm bringing out to you guys i do appreciate each and every last one of you who are watching the videos who are leaving likes and all that if you're new to the channel Go ahead and subscribe as it helps me out. Let's me know that you guys are rocking with me for real. Leave a like on the video. Again, let's me know that you guys are rocking with the video on the cars that I'm dropping. I'm excited to release a new JDM for you guys because you guys know I'm I'm mainly a muscle car and German car kind of guy when it comes to these car mods and whatnot. So I'm trying to branch out, man. I'm trying to branch out. But do let me know what you guys think. Again, if you guys are interested in getting your hands on this model, there's only two ways to get it, which is my website and my Discord. Both links will be in the description for you guys to go ahead and click on and check out. Tebex is a fully automated experience. And Discord, once you pop in there, go ahead, read the rules and everything with my terms of service, make a ticket. I'll respond back to you and we can go ahead and we can make it happen. So thank you guys so much for watching the video and messing with me and supporting my cars. Without further ado, y'all, I'm out.